I'm back in the Lake District today, but I'm only here for 24 hours. I set off at half past midnight this morning. I say it's morning, some people do say it's in the middle of the night. And I arrived at the top of Rhino's Pass for around about quarter to five, five o'clock, something around that time. Even though I do think I might rename this Brown Pants Pass because it was a little bit hairy in places. But I was glad I got up here nice and early where there was no other cars on the road. Um, but I will worry about getting down, obviously, when it's time to go down, because when two cars are passing, ooh, could be a little bit tight on the edges anyway. So today, I come up to hike Great Cars, Greyfriar, and Swell Howe. Now, I could also do a fourth Wainwright from here, which is Weatherland, but I'm unsure at the moment. Now, if you can see this rucksack here, this is um, because I'm going to be doing two hikes today and the second hike may actually be an overnighter. Things <laughs> have not gone good. So that's why I've got this rucksack with my tent on here. Sorry, it's a bit windy. So let me just turn my back to the wind. So yeah, I'm unsure whether to do Weatherland today because I don't want to burn myself out for this afternoon's hike. And I'm unsure about the clag um, and Weatherland actually holds a special place in my heart, which, you know, we will talk about a little bit further up. But um, yeah, so anyway, let me get all this tidied up here and then we'll chat again when I'm halfway up the fell. Well, behind you guys, the sun is breaking through these clouds and just dancing over some of the higher peaks. And it's just so nice to, to sit here and grab a, a few photos of it and just watch it, especially with the cloud that's just moving around. It's absolutely days like this where me personally, I just wouldn't want to be anywhere else in the world. Well, I must admit, now I'm up on some sort of ridge line. It is so windy, and just doing this piece of camera, I've had to shelter behind this cairn. But the ridge line now, or, or the route that I'm going, obviously, is up this ridge line there, and then peaks look from this angle super aggressive. They really do. Um, I hope it's not quite as aggressive as that when I get up there. I'm sure it'll be fine. What I'm sure behind me is Weatherlam. Uh, I really hope it is because that mountain there was the first ever mountain that I hiked in the Lake District. And crikey, that must have been 35 years ago. Between 30 and 35 years ago, I was a kid. I was 18, 19, that kind of age, I suppose. And I was with... Uh, Helen, we wasn't married at the time, and our friend Sam, he took us up there, and that was fantastic. I've got great memories of it. So I do think, actually, I probably will leave Weatherlam today, because I would like to dedicate a, a whole hike to it, starting off on quite a low elevation, 
and following the path all the way to the top. So I think today's hike is only going to be the three Wainwrights. Well, that's the first Wainwright done. Great cars. And this has been a fantastic walk. I think I might have to apologise for not filming a great deal, but it is so windy up here. Um, so it's hard to film in this wind, but it's not hampering the hiking. But on my last video, I had nothing but blue skies uh, and not a drop of wind, which was fantastic for, for hiking in, um, but not so good for any photography. But today, the, um, the walk has just been absolutely amazing. And, and as I say, I think I've said on obviously other pieces, the camera that I've done, this kind of weather just adds to the mood um, of all the, all the fells. Out of all of the, the light just rolling across the peaks and every time it rolls it just enhances something else. It's like a, a forever changing picture in front of your eyes. Beautiful. So this one's done and now I'm going to do, I've got a choice of two actually, but I think I'm going to do Grey Friar next. And then I'm going to probably finish off on Swell Howe. And as I said, if I wasn't doing my second hike this afternoon, I would have gone on to Weatherland. But um, yeah, not today. Not today. Well, I do think I've lost the best of the nice dry weather with lovely light rolling across the fells. The wind has really picked up now and there are some really dark clouds moving in. And I'm on my way there up that steep path and it wouldn't surprise me if there was a drop of wind before I even got to the summit. Crikey, that camera's looking precarious. Right, let's put this away. Oh, let's put this away and let's get up there as quick as possible. to do this piece to camera because that rain keeps hitting the lens but I know everybody's fitness levels are different so I can't recommend anybody doing this walk I can only recommend it for myself and people that I know but the walk that I did last weekend which was Dal Crag, Brimfell and the old man and I set off from Coniston and so it was quite a long and quite a challenging walk uh, I certainly knew that I'd, I did it um, after I'd finished but this walk I know I've only completed two and I've parked on top of Rhino's Pass but from Rhino's Pass up to Great Cars then on to Grey Friar this has been a fantastic walk it's almost just the right amount of exertion so you you can feel yourself working but then just the right amount of plateaus as well where you can walk quite easily and actually enjoy the views so yeah this hike so far has um is definitely one I'm going to come back to. I've, I'm meeting up with some family in a few weeks time or about a month's time and I'm definitely going to re recommend this walk to them and perhaps we can do that. Anyway right let me get packed up and then we'll head over to the last summit of the day, Swell Howe. Well I doubt very much if you can even hear me <laughs> but you, you'll be able to see how claggy it is now. That weather front is really moving in. But there's also still some lovely light in patches. 
Oh, it's a big one! And yeah, I think for, for hiking and photography in general, this is still lovely weather. Making a video is slightly challenging, however, but for photography and hiking, beautiful. Love it. today i really hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please consider subscribing and tapping that small notification bell for future videos also please give the video a like because it really does help a small channel like mine to grow but until next time as always be kind and stay safe